Um, this case, I think, is like the last like real case that I have. Uh, you should look at every part of the study, OK? So I'm a neuroradiologist. Like I read almost only neuro. Uh, but if it's in the chest, we're still responsible for it. If, it's, if we're doing a spine and it's in the abdomen, if you miss a big renal cell carcinoma, that doesn't help anybody. Uh, you got to look at those things. And uh, I'll show you this example of a case like where this is kind of the, the case. Uh, this guy was 55 years old. He had been having like walking problems like for a while. He was transferred from another hospital and he was like set up for the OR for here. Um, he had a spine lesion. So they were said like, oh, this is an ependymoma. We're going to the OR to resect it. And he's got this long segment. These are T2 sagittal images of the spine. He has this huge, like, long segment uh, cord edema. And uh, then on post-contrast, he has this enhancing mass here. Uh, so this was the ependymoma. He was, like, set up for the OR. Uh, neurosurgery was like, hey, can you guys hurry up and read the study? We, like, want to take him to the OR now. That's another advice. It didn't, it didn't make the rule of 10, but, like, when someone's calling you and saying, like, we want to do this now, can you take a quick look at this? What you probably should do is take their number and call them back later because when you're like on the pressure of like being on the phone with them, I mean, it's fine to like look through a head CT and say, there's no big hemorrhage and I'll call you back if I find something later, but give yourself the benefit of the doubt and give yourself like the time that you need to look at things. So yeah, I mean, he's got this thing, like it's ridiculous. It's enhancing. It's in the cord. It's kind of involving the whole cord. It's in uh, a pendemoma. They want to take it out. And, um, uh, the differential for a case like this, I mean, you have an intramedullary mass, there's really only a couple of things uh, with ependymoma and astrocytoma, like being the two things. Either one needs to be taken out. He's, I mean, he's having trouble walking, like this is a problem. And uh, I'll give you one more image here. Uh, it's from below the area of the abnormality. And uh, so it's like in the thoracic spine. And Mark Mamluk, like one of the CIs from last year, was reading this study out with me. And he looks at this uh, left lung and says, like, what is this in the left hilum? There's like some, something there. Like, what is that? Like, what's going on there? I mean, this is, you see this kind of all the time, like in sort of chest uh, on the sides of the images. You see like a lot of motion. I mean, look over here. It's like, this is not great either. Like, what is this stuff in the lungs? But this is a little bit more than we were comfortable with. So uh, once you add that lymph node, like the differential changes, actually. You have all this other stuff. Because you got abnormal lymph nodes, you can have lymphoma, you can have metastasis, you can have sarcoid, you can have infection. This kind of changes things. And Mark like called neurosurgery and said like, hey, why don't you, uh, why don't you just get a chest CT like before you take him to the OR? Like it's not really going to hurt anything. Like let's just see like what these nodes are about. And so we got a chest CT. And sure enough, there are nodes there, and uh, there's some nodes on the other side. Like, nodes here, just kind of nodes all around. Like nothing really in the lung parenchyma. Just kind of a node there. It's like a little smaller than you think it is from that that the MR because those images are have such a small field of view. But sure enough, there are nodes like on both sides. And uh, chest says like, well, you know, we don't know what this is, but it could be lymphoma or sarcoid. So neurosurgery pumped the brakes a little bit and uh, decided, hey, well, I'll send it back to the floor and we'll like let's work this up like before uh, before we go any further. Uh, so the patient got a bronch and a biopsy. And here's like the biopsy report. Uh, so they biopsy those nodes, and this, these were non-necrotizing granulomas. This was not, so the guy has sarcoid in his lungs. Uh, now that doesn't mean that that isn't still an you know, ependymoma, but it kind of makes you worried that like, is there something else going on in his, in his spine? So they decided to try conservative management with steroids. And that spine thing got much better. The edema, like after six weeks of steroids, like the edema has almost resolved completely. Um, the enhancement, like, has gone down considerably as well. So for this guy, like, looking at the edge of the images saved this guy from surgery because they thought this was an intramedullary tumor. It had to be taken out when in reality it's an inflammatory condition that, that sort of saved this guy from a surgery. So just, just be aware of that.